Hey guys, Trish from Midget here. I'm going to be doing a video review on the Magpul Flip Up sites. I had two people ask me for links. Um, I'm just going to do a video on them and then also I'll try to link them in the description. But if I, uh, if you, if I can't link it or the link doesn't work, um, just you know go on eBay and look up Magpul Flip Up sites. So I had got two, excuse me, I've got, I got two sets. Um, this is my second set. Because the first set, I, it was for that build that I'm working on that I can't tell you guys about. Um, uh, it was for that, but I ended up just putting them on my Amoeba. Um, so I had to order another set, and that's what this is. I got them already. And then also I had to order another UTG riser. Um, so yeah, um, I really like this UTG riser because it's got the thumb. See right here, you can literally unscrew it with your thumb or your fingers so that um, you can ditch it if you need to, if, the, if it you know gets shot out or, or cracks or whatever, dies. You can literally unscrew it with your fingers and ditch it instead of an Allen wrench uh, type one. So that's why I ordered this one and I got a second one. I could have gotten a cheaper one local um, that has a screw. Um, it's a little bit shorter, so this is like the perfect height for me. Um, I just went ahead and ordered another one of these. Um, Mainly, like I said, because of that screw and also the height. This is perfect for what I'm looking for. So, um, and it was only like $10 shipped, um, and UTG stuff is nice. So, yeah, um, I'll get back to those sites, but I'm going to unbox them. So, I already opened it up. Um, I should have just waited, but um, I went to the mailbox and opened it up. I didn't think of doing a video on it until I thought, well, people were asking me about it, so maybe I should do one. Um, <coughs> this was shipped the 20 fourth and i got it the 26th which is today which is incredible again it's in it was in new jersey so it's not too far <coughs> but still parcel <coughs> parcel shipping is normally two days first class parcel um so it got here quicker than normal and they shipped it exactly when i ordered them and that's the exact same thing that happened with my first set so this company knows what they're doing it's yellow star tactical it says on here but then it's A, A H and A products. <clears throat> so I'm not sure. I believe Yellow Star probably makes them or gets them imported or whatever. And this H and A products, they buy them from Yellow Star Tactical and just basically resell them. Um, for 11 shipped, you can't beat it. Honestly, shipping is like $2. So they're probably getting $9 out of it after shipping. So I wonder how much they're getting these sites for. Now, if they make them, it's probably like a dollar. If they're making these sites, it probably cost them a dollar to make them. Um, but they're probably not making them. Probably They're probably just getting them from China. Um, but it's not protected or anything. It's just in the bag, um, which is no big deal to me. Cardboard box, you open it up, and you see you got the two sites. Now, um, the sites themselves are very, very uh, messy. They're burry, if that makes any sense. There's lots of plastic burrs all over the place. And so basically, I take a knife, and I did the same thing with my first set. Just take a knife and just, just cut up the uh, the burrs and stuff. And they're on both sets. Um, now, they're adjustable, so they're totally adjustable. It's not like since they're cheap copies, they're not adjustable. They are adjustable. Um, <coughs> gosh. <clears throat> And as you can see, you push them down, and they flip up. They seem to have okay springs behind them. It's easier if they're on the gun and you push the tab down um, on the side here, but it's kind of hard to hold them and pull it down at the same time. So you just push it down kind of like that. Um, they seem to lock fine. My question is, would they would they hold up on a real gun uh, with the recoil? Or would they pop up like that? And I'm gonna put that to the test. So, um, but yeah, um, great price. So this is how they look on the Omiba. You got the button there, and as you can see, it flips up with authority. Um, <clears throat> it has the adjustable part there. Very functional sights. The one thing that I don't like about these Amoeba or uh, the the Magpul sights is that they're just thick, especially the front one. It's so big. Um, that's why I kind of felt like, eh, I put these on here and I was like, that doesn't look good to me. These the sight is so big when you flip it up. It's just so freaking big. So I decided to put the T1 and riser on here and flip them down, and it looks pretty nice to me. 
Um, so the same thing can be said with the uh, build that I'm doing. These are going to go in there just for looks with the same t type of T1 and riser. Um, so yeah, um, <coughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Um, basically, uh, that's it. Honestly, that's it. For $11 shipped, you cannot beat it, honestly. And there's no burrs on the inside of the holes. So the viewing holes, which is nice. You could probably, it might be a little uneven in some places. Um, if you want to take like a knife, put it in there and kind of turn it. But I wouldn't mess with that. It seems to be pretty good. Um, pretty nicely. Uh, not milled, but uh, uh, molded. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.